what's growing on florida we're gonna do a little spring update this is march 31st uh, don't forget to like and subscribe it helps me out a lot let's get started this is the side of the house we got a little mixture of stuff here this yellow that's flowering this is bok choy and then right next to it we have some hibiscus uh, roselle hibiscus Got a few different basils, um, some red cabbage, even though it's purple. Some roselle, <coughs> some little zinnias, some green onions, some rosemary. Um, we'll plant back there a whole bunch of catmint. And right here we have a uh, roofy tomato. different hot peppers uh, most of them are scorpion peppers and we also have carolina reapers jalapenos some green onions a whole bunch of lettuce another red cabbage some potatoes been hanging out um, right here's a little brazilian sunberry like a we also have Celery. I'm not as happy as this one. Two on another spot. Japanese red mustard, giant, giant Japanese red mustard. Chicory. This grows at root. That's similar to carrot. You can go to dandelion. Salsify. There you go. Salsify. That's the stringy one. And then uh, giant mustard next to it. And then there's a, I believe it's a type of cabbage. It's just not getting ahead, so it's growing more like kale. Lots of different gingers, some red canna, some tropical canna, some potatoes, variegated ginger. Um, there's a few tomatoes here and there, and miracle berries, or American black nightshade. Doesn't have much of a flavor, but it's nice and red. More tomato, more ginger. Got some cinnamon basil. Sweet potato. Ginger. This one's starting to get a flower. Pink shell ginger. The flowers are edible. You can throw them like right in salads. Have a nice taste, a little gingery taste. Bigger tomatoes. Some basil. Some more ginger. Some variegated ginger. These are um, ground cherries. They're the green type. Kind of wild. Some red canna popping up. Some green onions. And guava. I just trimmed it back real heavy because it had a lot of white fly and a lot of uh, black set fungus. Lots of sweet potatoes down there, help keep the ground a little moist. Have some uh, pineapple butter. Those have not given me any fruit. I've had them for five, six years. This one's giving me lots of fruit, and I've only had it for a year. This is the Aki tree. Got some sugar cane, some more lettuce, uh, papayas, little tiny tamarindo tree starting out right there. This is a uh, sopote, chico sopote. 
some more sugar cane. There's a passion fruit growing up a little bamboo right there. Hi. That elder flowers. Some bananas. A whole bunch of carrots in the middle. Pigs and peas. Very delicious. These are Hawaiian brown cherries. Yellow thyme. Eggplant. A whole bunch of fig clippings. One of them's doing good. It's an LSU. So not surprised. I almost got on the LSU. I heard that's the best one for Florida. And this one looks like it is still hanging in there. We'll see if that one does good. The rest of them are duds. This is the Cobra. Cobra. Little compost pile. Like hot compost. Goes in there for two weeks to a month before I put it in to that. more. Hawaiian brown cherries, berries, bananas, a lot of longevity spinach. This is called generic croquemans, and this is by croquemans because it has red on the back of the leaves. It's also called Okinawa spinach. A little cilantro. Some blackberries starting to come back as it's spring. Yeah, papaya. Lots of elder. Quite a few berries are starting to form a little bit too. We should get a good amount off this. That little batch is almost ripe right here. Yuka, it's Chaya, it's Mint, ooh, we got some berries starting over here, there we go, boom, August, okay, there we go, mulberry, starting to jump into action, I clipped this one a while ago and it's got way more growth than the ones that I didn't clip, so I went ahead and clipped the other ones. See if I can start new plants off the clippings and try to encourage all these little buds. Let's try to get this one. Okay. All those little buds to start popping up. So, uh, cranberry hibiscus had a whole mess of it. They pretty much died over the winter, so we got these little seed lines. I have to carry through. That's what I expected. Shut up and dig. Strawberries hiding in here, everything in there. Lots of wood sorrel. I like the uh, flowers of wood sorrel. It's like some pretty apples. Little raspberry vine back there. More chaya. Lots of chaya spinach tree. And the papaya. More lettuce. Onion. Yuka, pies, lettuce, lots of rosemary. These are uh, like toilet paper plants. They also call them blue spur. Blue because of these purple flowers that look like slippers. Little pigeon peas. These are uh, 
beauty berries. Florida native or American native plant. Many it's greater because it has a mosquito repellent. You can use the leaves and basically make like a tea and then make a reduction from the tea and mix it with either rubbing alcohol or aloe vera gel and use it as a mosquito repellent. Really More pigeon peas. This is a um, miracle tree. This also makes an edible lagoon and these flowers. You eat them at this stage. Just like that. You pick them and eat them raw. Throw them in salads, cut them up. It's really good. And I like this tree because it always attracts ladybugs. I love having them in the garden. The greenhouse, empty right now. It's been so windy, it keeps on blowing over. This monster is extremely happy. It's starting to wrap around this. Uh, Florida strangler fig, which is kind of poetic justice or ironic because it's a parasitic vine growing on a parasitic tree and it's doing really good. So, there is a date These are two leaf eyeshades. That's just kind of I have a whole bunch of white grapefruit seeds that I got from uh, a tree from the park that has naturalized in the park. There's tons of them inside the park. A little low pot when I started from seed. Some cabbages that are grown like kale, so I'm eating them like kale. Over here we have some more mulberry clippings. These are doing really good. giant red mustard looking a little dry cactus pineapple Jamaican strawberry tree I call it that because these flowers look a lot like strawberry flowers Fruit tastes a lot like cotton candy or something like that, like one of those really fruity cereals. It tastes a lot like that. Really good. We have an avocado tree. I started that one seed that's been on the fence for a while, then I put it in a pot during winter. Now it's in the ground. Pond apple, bitter apple, pond apple. It's a Florida native banana. Mustard apple. That's also a banana. It's just kind of red. This one is a sour sap. of cutting it down to like maybe two feet. Uh, yeah, like down here. 
this room so that it gets a little more sturdy. But maybe I'll wait till next year. You guys, um, in the comments, let me know what you think. I also have some pineapple, some more Granny Smith apple. This one's like average size. It's nice. Same a little bit behind, but not as much as the other. And an ebony tree. I just recently planted one of the dates. A little flower bed, and uh, quite a hodgepodge of stuff going on in here. Elderberry, oregano, zinnias, aloe, monstera, something great going on in here. Um, on the outside, I got the stereums and marigolds. Put it out here. Just adjusted. Now it'll start filling out. I like to grow these on purpose during the winter. So it's not nice that I already removed everything, but um, I'd say towards the middle or the end of fall, I'll have all these seeds saved, and I'll start putting the seeds down. Right in the middle of fall and then right in the beginning of winter or as fall's ending all of them sprout up and they're delicious they are in the mustard family it's called peppergrass virginia peppergrass it tastes like uh like a sweet wasabi a little bit of like a green i guess grassy kind of a taste similar to any other mustard green but way more of a wasabi taste than like a mustard kind of taste it's good I have some dragon fruit in here. This one just started to put out some new growth. This one started putting out new growth a while ago. It's old ficus that's growing on. There's like only one branch is still alive on the ficus. It has a nice, pretty braided base. So this is my citrus triangle. Uh, yeah. Not doing so good, starting to get buried by the oregano is the uh, key lime. I think I might let him hang out in the shade of the oregano for a while before I clip all this. It's typically oranges or citrus is a understory, so they don't mind being in the shade for a while. It'll help them get their roots stronger. And we have some Barbados cherry. Plant with a succulent down leaf. It is called a leaf for life, especially in Jamaica. Chemically, it's the same as the steroids that the doctor would give you if you have an infection. So it's really good to make a tea out of if you have any kind of ailment, basically. We also have a little olive tree starting out over here. This is a little pear tree that I put in a few months ago, and I put a lot of marigold seeds down that I started to sprout. This is uh, mystery citrus. Um, my neighbor across the street, he rescued it. There was two plants growing in a pot. He separated them and put them each in their own pot. Started to put out your leaves, he offered me one tonight. Gladly accepted. Got a mango also from his house. This one is spent, so it's really good to do a little grafting on. I can graft two different type of trees right at the top. Got some more mango growing on here. This one is one that the squirrel is planting right across the street. And uh, up until now, it was only growing one single type of tree right here. Stock, but it just recently split off. All right, this is a little flower bed that I got from a packet that I got from Penny at the Dollar Store. It's starting to fade away because it's starting to get a bit too hot. We still have some flowers. This is a gourd vine. And it's coming back. It's really totally dormant. 
uniform shape having the chai up in there and the elders got such nice flowers it'll look nice next year when it's more like that back there all right and then we got this little bed tons of carrots in the back and then i have a few different peppers in the front also some basil not looking too happy some society garlic this is a regular garlic right next to it. And then back there. Purple tomato, purple cherokee. It's not purple yet, but that's what it is. Some little tomatoes. Yeah, these guys are ready to put a tomatoes in different colors. Got this snake vine. Hibiscus. Nice. We have a little bed over here. Some celery. Some love lies bleeding amaranth, which is a type of green leaf amaranth. That mostly has red leaves until it gets older than the leaves. It's delicious. It tastes just like spinach. There's a lot of plants that have the spinach name. But this one tastes the most like spinach. Out of anything that has the name spinach, this one actually tastes the most which is related to quinoa. Everybody's heard of quinoa. Not a lot of people's heard of amaranth. But uh, quinoa is basically a type of amaranth. So this also has little flower heads that make seeds that you cook as a grain. The protein, lots of other things. We're gonna start another hedge of elderberry right here. Same over here, a little hedge of elderberry. Got some two leaf nice shade, lychee, tomato, some different hot peppers. Here it is, another one of those Brazilian sunberries, starting to get the big, aggressive leaves. Likes this spot, it's happy. Got some mulberry clippings, a red mulberry that was growing wild in the park that I like to go to. That's just starting to put out some buds and some growth. As a pigeon pea, 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 a Got some uh, potato, yucca, green onion, lots of potato, lots of green onion. Sweet potato, there's a bunch of zanias that can pop up. Got some old tomatoes. Uh, another lychee tomato, some carrots, some other type of tomato, a bunch of beets. On that side is a bunch of black radish. Litchi, tomato, and a lot of longevity spinach around it. I did the same thing here. Longevity spinach around the tomato. And I put down probably a cucumber seed. I put down some kind of seed right there. 